good morning with your old mate today, Spencer, back on his travels again. And today, the 10th of March 2020, mid coronavirus epidemic, we're down in Worcester where they've just had to put up with some pretty uh, nasty flooding. Anyway, no sign of that now other than a few sandbags scattered around. And what shall we see? I don't know. We shall see what we see. And, well, we won't be seeing anything if I don't get myself around the other side of the camera and get shooting. So, see you all in a bit. After months of cold, wind, rain, and uh, today is incredibly uh, mild. Yesterday it was still sort of uh, weather for uh, the uh, hat and coat and gloves and scarf. Well, what are we up to with operators now? Are we up to uh, four or five? It's uh, centre of place, you get some variety. And this one goes on to uh, Starport. It's uh, had on the blind there. Yeah. And uh, I have to keep an eye open for it in that part of the world. Otherwise, uh, operators I'm aware of. The base of the Scarborough. It was quite uh, tentative on the uh, locations today, the weather forecast, uh, where it was dry. But like cloud is threatening incredibly strong winds, but by just the evening the, uh, the threat seems to be facing a bit, so I'm going to take a chance in the merest of breezes in Worcester. I've still got a whole fleet of these uh, standing buses, or is it the same one over and over again? We really must. Uh, make a note of numbers, but I'm not that sort of enthusiast. I think uh, the buses got the sort of loadings they do at this time of day, all day. That's operation would be something to invest your money in. I see we've got the, uh, the old Heritage Midland vehicle out. Should be down with us any time. The Heritage vehicles tend to uh, stick around quite a while. Give you a few bites at the cherry. I quite enjoy seeing the uh, smaller operators. I think uh, many bus enthusiasts do. Hello, LMS's fleet. Well, it's uh, now around half eight. Time seems to have. Uh, gone by very quickly. Yeah. The uh, 
Salt Road buses. Well, what happened to the Midland Red Heritage bus? I really don't know. Um, perhaps it was just uh, going out into service on a sort of positioning trip. Although it did look for a while quite congested up in the uh, town. But uh, as I haven't got uh, x-ray eyes through the buildings, after they've uh, gone through the lights, they vanish. Another two fairly hefty loads. Yes, if it's like this all day, we'd have a lot more buses, wouldn't we? Well, it looks like we've got uh, one of the first heritage buses out with the uh, the old Barbie stripes on. Or perhaps they just haven't got round to updating it. Judging by the state of it, I think they haven't got round to uh, painting it. Well, it's just uh, turning nine o'clock, so I guess things are going to get uh, up and running now. A slow start. I wonder which uh, of the named buses this is on the Salt Road. And we get repeats I soon. I bet we saw them all last year down at Bronze Grove. That was Juno. I don't think we've seen that one this morning, it's uh, rather a, an anonymous version of the uh, locally brand, route branded vehicles. It just looks like the front end's had a lick of green paint. Perhaps further branding is going to be applied. Well, hello, it's your old mate Dave Spencer back again. I hope you enjoyed your visit this morning to Worcester and uh, wasn't too bad, was it? Quite a count of operators there, quite a variety, and it's been a pleasure having you along with us on this trip. And it's uh, the time now for the, uh, the big farewell bye for now and we hope we all see you again soon stay healthy stay safe and we look forward to uh, seeing you along on another trip with us in the near future so from me it's bye 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 <laughs>